Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? I want to find my parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! <coughs> Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Vernon, put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you... Choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping. Lee. I don't care what it is. Just let her go. You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets hit. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. and they dug some secret tunnels or something. Hey, don't worry. We'll find Clementine. Damn right we will. No matter what. To do that, you gotta get us another way out. We're lucky there's no axe holding that door closed, huh? Oh, shut up. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know... Don't worry about this door right now. We got it. Guess there's no going back the way we came. No shit. There's no going back at all if you don't find another way out of here. We've got this. You keep looking. Can't those things let up for a fucking minute? Just keep looking for another way out. I got this.
just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. You're... Try to stay still! <laughs> I know! Be able to travel. You lost some blood. 
Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed him anymore. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Who you are, but I will kill you. Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. this. You can do this. Here we go. One. Two. Three! I'll just take my time.
gotta get up. Jesus, gotta get up. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. That doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. The last fellow who used it took a tumble. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. I bet that hurt like hell. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. I need to get off this roof. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. Well, you're here. Don't get me killed. I won't. Are you afraid? I'm still afraid of getting eaten. More than ever. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are, right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm alright. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. 
That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies? Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm, huh. yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this room, for starters. Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, it might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. 
What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. It should be able to get me across the gap. I don't like anything about this. It'll take two seconds. We'll keep it secure on our end. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! I'm so fucked. off this roof. Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? 
We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! What the f- They fucked us! What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just- Fuck! Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you? She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. A small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh my god. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I live through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, we're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here, so keep an eye on me. Oh, God. Everything just... <sighs> They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben! Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it! Omi! What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! 
Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. 
Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We, uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. 
He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Die because we were stupid! Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. 
You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. There's no use dwelling on it. You know that. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. I'm not going out this window. House is full, too. Stay quiet. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! God damn it, Ben! I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. 
We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh. Oh. If he'd be quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move! Ben! Fuck! Fuck! Yeah. Oh god, don't let them get to me! Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. Just go. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! What happened? I couldn't do anything. Ben was really messed up. Kenny couldn't leave him and... It was just fucked. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God. Poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. We should go. Right behind you. Do you want to talk? my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what passes for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You 
you guys would be great for. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. Before, in the attic. It's nothing. What's nothing? Let's just keep moving. Fuck. Be careful across here. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. You never know where the next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> smallest one is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck. I'm sorry. Let's think this through. I just did. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Onto this, we'll pull you up. Good, thanks. <gasps> ah! Baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. What are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> got gotcha, you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Find a way to get you!
Where... where'd he go? He's dead. Maybe he's not. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's Hotel is round the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town. By the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll be there! Thank you. 
I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Good. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. You fucked up. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. It's more complicated than that. You lied to her about who you really are. It wasn't the right time to tell her. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. 
She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. I'm bitten. What? I got bit, and I'm gonna make sure you end up the same way as me. I, uh... Make sure you shoot me in the head. No. I'll be with her, and you'll be rotting in the streets. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? So scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk. Okay? Yeah. 
Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Savannah. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. Okay. Oh, no. soon as we can. Not soon enough. So? And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. How many times did she almost die with you? You wouldn't have done better. That is exactly what I would have done! You wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> she wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> She wouldn't hurt a fly. Son of a bitch! 
Just go away! Die! It's okay. It's okay. I... Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! Come here, sweet pea. They're dead! They really are! fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Oh, you did. 
it, honey. It's awful out there. Only you want to chew me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! <sighs> I can't. You have to! Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You need to get out of here as soon as you can. I, I can't leave you. Just work on getting out, okay? We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. There's a chair over there. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clint. Use it to reach in to the lock. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. You can open it. Walker in there is trapped. We'll figure out what to do. Together. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Put a handcuff on the ground. Get them. Okay, me. Ugh! 
The bat, Clem. Get the bat.
just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Clem, it's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. The noise we made. They already know we're in here. We don't need more of them. It's like with Larry, honey. He was going one way or another, but at that moment I couldn't do more violence. You have to be careful about that. It'll consume you. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Don't go. Just be 